are you not able to understand why your expressions are not switching in the correct timing and why they are floating if you will see your timeline would be more than this so always when you are switching your expressions between one emotion to another emotion you need to have an eye blink so we will add an eye blink here i will just make sure that i reduce the distance first and then in between i will add an eye blink for having the eye blink i'm going to bring this down for around 90 percent 90 to 95 percent and the remaining five percent is going to be the lower lid getting animated and same goes for the other eye now you need to have your expressions also coming down you cannot have the expression directly switching so there has to be an in between for the expression so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a down pose for the expression when you are hitting an in between for the eyes close make sure that you have one frame closed eyes if you see here everything is stopping for one frame this is more of mechanical i'm going to add an cushion so the distance traveling i will add a little more distance both these controls i will make sure they come in down together so that there is a cushion for one frame like this now we need to correct the arcs of our eyebrows can you see the transition happening smooth now this the opening and the closing time is the same so what we can do is we can close it fast and open it slow so one frame you can delay in your opening this will add more life to your shot and this is how you should be animating your eyebrows it's going to be snappy your eyebrows are always snappy this is how your eyebrows will not look floaty i believe you like this video and follow me for more such videos